So hey guys, here we are today, Canada Day at Moraine Lake. Is there a more Canadian place to get here? Now, getting here this year has been harder than it ever was. The road is closed. The only way to come is by bus, bike, or foot. So unless you're staying at the resort, book your tickets in advance. They're sold right out for today. We're so lucky to be here. I'm going to show you guys some of the ins and outs of taking the Parks Canada bus. As of 2023, personal vehicle access to Moraine Lake is no longer permitted. The best way to access Moraine Lake is via the Parks Canada shuttle service. Reserve your shuttle ticket and park your vehicle at the Park and Ride located at the Lake Louise Ski Resort and Summer Gondola. One ticket gives you the flexibility to see both Moraine Lake and Lake Louise in the same day or spend the day exploring one lake. The choice is yours. Getting to the Park and Ride is easy. Head west on Highway Number 1 from the town of Banff towards Lake Louise. As you approach, there is plenty of signs to direct you. However, be aware that you are heading to the Lake Louise Ski Resort on the north side of the highway, while the lakes are on the south side. Moraine Lake Road is closed to personal vehicles year-round. Parks Canada shuttles, Rome Public Transit, and the commercial buses are permitted from June to mid-October. Exceptions will be made for visitors with disabilities and guests of Moraine Lake Lodge. Shuttle reservations must be made in advance through the Parks Canada Reservation website. If your desired time slot is sold out, please note that additional seats will be released in a rolling window at 8 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time, two days prior to departure day. The shuttle operates daily from June 1st to August 9th, 2023, starting at 6.30 a.m. The last shuttle leaves at 7.30 p.m. The fee for an adult is $8, $4 for a senior, and free for 17 and under. Visit the Parks Canada website for more information. I'll leave a link in the comments. A valid National Parks Pass is also required per vehicle, and there is also an additional reservation fee of $11.50. Upon arrival, you will be directed to park your vehicle and make your way to the hut to verify your voucher and ID. Be aware that the person making the reservation must show ID to get the bus pass. The voucher is not valid for boarding the bus, so allow time to pick up your pass and get in the queue. The Parks Canada hut is the one farthest away. The near one is only for those booking through the ski resort. You may board either a bus to Moraine Lake or to Lake Louise. The bus stops are marked with a flag with the destination on it. The buses are comfortable and seat belts are mandatory. There is space overhead to put your bag or backpack. There is a bus stop in Lake Louise Village for drop-off, but we did not see any passengers being picked up in the village, so be aware you may get stuck there pending the bus driver. The drive to Moraine Lake takes about 20 minutes. The only way to get there other than by bus is to walk, bike, or hike. So the bus slows down to pass cyclists regularly. Once arriving, you are placed almost directly at the shore of Moraine Lake. You may get a snack or beverage at the Moraine Lake Lodge, but most of the lodge is off limits to park guests. The trails are very busy, especially the renowned rock pile where most guests go to get their Instagram pictures. The hike up the rock pile is a must if you can make the trek up. It is not wheelchair accessible, nor capable of handling a stroller. At the top, make your way through the throng of people to capture a photo. You may stay as long as you wish, hiking the many trails or renting a canoe at the lodge. So hey guys, this is Moraine Lake. Catching the Parks Canada bus really is the fastest, easiest way to get up here. It's worth the hassle. When done, Reboard the bus opposite of where you were dropped off near the public washrooms. Note these are pit toilets, so bring some hand sanitizer. The Moraine Lake Shuttle guarantees access to Moraine Lake while reducing the harmful impacts of crowds and congestion in a sensitive environment. This system also eliminates the overall stress of parking at the lake, as every year people were getting to Moraine Lake earlier and earlier to guarantee a spot. Some social media groups even reported arriving before 3 a.m. Your ticket does allow for an interlake transfer, so be aware that you can board a bus to Lake Louise or back to the park and drive. 
The Transit Pass is an excellent means to see both lakes for a single ticket if you're short on time. Lake Louise is similar to Moraine Lake in that the stops are marked by flag for arrival and departure. The lake is always busy as you are still able to drive and park at Lake Louise. However, the parking fills up early. You may grab a snack at the Fairmont Lake Louise if you're hungry or take some time to hike around the lake. When finished, head back to the parking lot, making sure you board the bus back to the park and ride. So hey guys, that's Parks Canada Bus Pass. Gets you two great locations here at Lake Louise and of course at Moraine Lake. Really is the most convenient way to get out here. There is a ton of people here today. I can't imagine trying to drive out here. It's a great spot. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below in the comments or reach out on social media. I'm on Facebook and Instagram. Till next time, see you guys on the trail. It's Papa Steve on the move.